Diversity Group calls for NFL to investigate traders for possible Rooney Rule violation. The Fritz Pollard Alliance, the diversity group that works closely with the NFL on its minority hiring, has asked the league to investigate the Oakland Raiders for what it calls a possible violation of the Rooney Rule related to the process by which the team hired John Gruden as its coach. We are deeply concerned by reports that the Oakland Raiders owner, Mark Davis, came to an agreement with John Gruden about him becoming the Raiders' next head coach before interviewing any candidates of color, Cyrus Mary and N. Jeremy Drew, attorneys for the group, said in a written statement to media organizations. If so, the club violated the Rooney Rule, which was instituted by the NFL in 2003 and requires teams to interview at least one candidate of color for open head coaching and general manager positions. As soon as we learned of the reports, we formally requested that the NFL thoroughly investigate the matter to conclusively determine whether the Rooney Rule was violated, and if it was violated, to impose an appropriate punishment. The NFL did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Both the league and the Fritz Pollard Alliance previously had said the Raiders were in compliance with the minority interviewing rule, which is named for late Pittsburgh Steelers owner Dan Rooney. The Raiders formally introduced Gruden as their new coach Tuesday after signing him to a 10-year contract that apparently could be worth as much as around $100 million. Davis fired Jack Del Rio as the Raiders' coach on the same day the team's season ended. The Raiders' view is that they complied with the Rooney rule by interviewing their own tight ends coach, Bobby Johnson, and T. Martin, the offensive coordinator at the University of Southern California. Former NFL Commissioner Paul Tagliabue fined Matt Millen, then the Detroit Lions president, $200,000 in 2003 for failing to interview a minority candidate before hiring Steve Mariucci as the team's coach. Tagliabue told NFL owners during a meeting that year that any future violation of the rule could result in a fine of $500,000 or more for conduct detrimental to the league. Read more on the NFL. John Gruden must solve two big problems for the Raiders to harbor playoff hopes Ryan Shazier visits Steelers practice for first time since spinal surgery despite all the bad news, poll shows football still is America's favorite sport by a wide margin about that Kirk Cousins contract offer late in the 2015 season can Norv Turner get Cam Newton and the Panthers